So the purpose of this video is to uh, instruct how to properly collect blood cultures and proper collection technique. This is a blood culture kit that we have in our facility. This is the adult blood collection kit. Um, it has everything you need. Um, it has uh, both bottles for aerobic and anaerobic bacteria. Um, it has the chloro prep for uh, prepping the site, cleaning the site. The collection set, which is a butterfly needle. Tourniquet, alcohol pad, a bandage, two by two gauze, and instruction sheet, and also the specimen transport bag to send the specimens to the lab. So, first, as always, we want to make sure the kit is not expired and the date's here. So, this is expired on 9 26, 2013. <clears throat> we'll find our Blood collection kit, which is a butterfly. That's a 22 gauge. Here are your instructions if, you, if you're not certain. Go over what you can always review. Two by two gauze. This is your vacuum container holder. This vacuum container holder has an adapter, the inside adapter. Once you collect your blood cultures, which will fit into, into this adapter, you can then slide the sleeve in if you need additional bloods, uh, such as uh, a CBC or a CMP, and the blood tubes will fit right into this inner adapter. One blood culture bottle. This is for your aerobic bacteria. And the other is for your anaerobic bacteria. Latex-free tourniquet. This is your chlorhexidine chloroprep for prepping the skin. Transfer bag for specimens. Your bandage and alcohol pads. Okay, first, as always, we want to identify the patients with two unique identifiers. Uh, I'm going to identify the last name, first name, asking the patient and to properly spell the last name and first name, and also their date of birth. Confirm that with the physician lawyers and also the ID ban on the patient. <clears throat> Once that's confirmed, we need to continue with our collection. As all blood draws, we want to assess for a good vein. Very important. Hand washings are always very important when we'll have our gloves on. Assess your vein, you can apply your tourniquet, and then we're going to use a chloroprep stick. The chloroprep stick is just a swab and we're just going to, on the arm, on the side, we're going to wipe and we're going to start from the center and swirl outward. And then we'll take our butterfly, I'll open this butterfly. Make sure that this is, the butterfly is connected firmly onto this adapter and then the adapter screws into the vacuum holder. Since we're drawing blood cultures, we won't need the inner adapter. We'll find the vein, insert the butterfly into the vein, wait for a flash. <clears throat> now, the first culture to be drawn should be the aerobic culture, because we do have air in the line, and we do not want to contaminate the anaerobic culture with any additional air. So once it's set, just the bottle simply goes in, we puncture, we want the solution, we don't want to tip the solution to prevent any backflow, and then we fill the bottle uh, for at least 5 ml of sample. We mix it a little, and then we go for the anaerobic, obviously removing the top, and inserting it in the holder the same way collecting 5 ml of samples. We're going to swirl. We're going to remove the tourniquet from the patient. Of course, I have my 2x2 two two gauze ready to tamp it on the site. And then we can just use a band-aid to secure. And then usually blood cultures are ordered times 2. Correct. And so there should be a period of time between the first Fif draw and the second draw. Yes, generally the, uh, it's 15 minutes uh, per collection site. Uh, and it's two different sites. Reason for two different sites, 
Uh, patients with infections, let's say examples, kidney infection, bladder infection, um, is generally isolated to that site, but the body cannot contain the bacteria, so it tends to flow through the bloodstreams. Uh, the idea is to, to, to catch that bacteria, or if it's, it can also can be a fungal infection, which we can actually grow from this as well. Uh, the idea is to catch the bacteria that's flowing through the bloodstream, so we can properly treat the patient, identify the bacteria, grow it, uh, and sensitize it to the different types of antibiotics to ensure that we're uh, treating the patient properly with the proper antibiotics. Uh, and if not, uh, the physician will change the antibiotics to, to properly treat, treat the patient. Okay, very good. Thank you.